Hello and welcome to the Thursday, January 11th, 2024 edition of the Sand and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, it's also a little bit sort of the post patch Tuesday catch up. So we do have one diary here left to talk about and these are scans for Jenkins, in particular for the J. ASGI security check URL, which is typically used to verify usernames and passwords, or essentially your login page. Seeing a marked increase in scans for this particular URL, in particular from one IP address, a Chinese IP address, what makes it sort of interesting as far as attribution goes usually shouldn't just go by the IP address, but also part of the data being submitted. In particular, the submit value is the Chinese word for login. So likely the request that's being used here and being replayed was captured from a Chinese instance of Jenkins. The usernames and passwords being submitted are pretty uh, trivial. Actually, many of the passwords are just empty. So I suggest that these attempts are really just more looking for vulnerable instances and not so much actively trying to find working usernames and passwords. And then Ivanti is in the news again, this time for a change, not for its mobile device management software. They have other buggy software to sell you. In this case, it's what used to be known Pulse Secure and used to be known for some interesting vulnerability back when it was called Pulse Secure. It's now called Ivanti Secure Access. And today, Ivanti published details regarding two vulnerabilities after Wallexity discovered these vulnerabilities being exploited in the wild. There are two vulnerabilities that are being chained for complete compromise. One is an authentication bypass vulnerability, CVE 2023-46805. The second is a command injection vulnerability that can then be exploited, and that's CVE 2024-21. 887. What uh, Wallexity then observed is that attackers are swapping files on the system to capture passwords. They also did uh, see then lateral movement from the VPN device to enable key logging and uh, web shells in various other assets within the network not so well protected by this VPN device. If you are using any of these products, please take a look at the Wallexity blog. Excellent work here. Lots of details about how to detect a compromise and what some of the follow on attacks are that they saw happening. One thing I just want to point out here is that the attacker also disabled logging. So that may be one thing to quickly look for. Is logging currently working for the device? If not, then I would highly suspect a compromise. And that's probably something that's relatively easy to check. And if you're running Zoom, the video conferencing application on Windows, there is an update for you that fixes a privilege escalation vulnerability. Zoom rates the vulnerability as high and gives it a CVSS score of 8.8, .8, CVE number 2023-49647. Well, imagine that you are deploying a complex large application, expose it to the internet, and then you allow the world to upload more extensions and additional applications to the server. Imagine what happens. People take advantage of it. That at least happened uh, to users of Hadoop and Fink, uh, two large data processing applications, sometimes also called distributed file systems. If you are simply just... Uh, setting them up without really thinking and reading instructions too much, you will end up with an easy to exploit uh, remote code execution vulnerability. Researchers from Aqua Nautilus have some details about this particular attack, how it works and uh, how an attacker takes advantage of uh, these misconfigurations. I think one of the problem here may be that sometimes data scientists and other people who aren't really all that interested into all the nitty gritty IT details, but just want a cool application up and running are using uh, these tools. So better double check what you have deployed in your environment 
document that may never have been properly configured. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.